<laughs> oh, look, I have toothpaste splatters all over. No, wait. That one was just some kind of flake, but this is toothpaste. Whoops. Anyway, Sensodyne, my lifesaver. <laughs> it actually worked really well. Um, okay. As you saw in my vlog, I whitened my teeth last night and I didn't feel any sensitivity for the rest of the night. And then I woke up this morning and I was like, ah, and it got worse. And around noon, it started to get a tiny bit better, but my teeth were still really hurting. And okay, if you've ever used white strips before, you know that it's not just sensitivity when you eat or drink something, your teeth hurt constantly, like constantly all day. So it got a little bit worse when I was trying to eat my cereal this morning because the milk was cold. But then when I brushed my teeth, all was good until I went to drink a bit of water to rinse my mouth. And when I spat it out, it was this intense pain on my lower teeth. I was like, ah, like, ah, so bad. And I knew my teeth were probably going to get sensitive, but like you forget how annoying the pain is until you die or not die until you uh, whiten your teeth again. And you're like, why did I do this? Why did I do this? So I'm not going to use a second strip tonight because I think my teeth are white enough. They could use another round. There's still like toothpaste to my teeth. I can feel there's like graininess to that toothpaste and it's in my teeth, but I don't care. Anyways, I could use a second one, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to maybe do another one in a week if I feel the need, or I'll just wait until my teeth get yellow again and then I'll do it. But yes, okay. I just need to do a little quick story time because... Um, okay, I got off work and I was just about to leave and Jacob texted me and he said, hey, did you leave work yet? And I said, no, I'm just leaving now. And he was just leaving the school and so he said he'd give me a ride back. But then he was almost there and I remembered I was going to go to the post office to check my P.O. box and just in shoppers get a few things like that toothpaste. And so... I was like, crap, so then Jacob gets there, and I was like, yeah, I actually need to go to Shoppers. <laughs> like, I felt bad, so he dropped me off at Shoppers, but it actually was meant to be, because if I just took the SkyTrain, I would have stayed above ground in the SkyTrain stations when I transferred trains, but because he dropped me off on the sidewalk, I was about to cross the street, and I was just standing there waiting, and the person next to me also was like, Bailey? And I look over, and it was my old roommate, Erica! I haven't seen her in at least a year. It, yeah, it's probably been around a year. So it's so nice. We talked for probably 15 minutes at least, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Had a nice chat and I was just like, oh, got to see Erica again. Because I've had a lot of roommates. I was in student housing and I was in four different apartments because I got moved around. But Erica was one of my first roommates in my very first apartment. And so it was like, we were really close to me, her and this other girl. We'd always watch Avatar The Last Airbender, um, Harry Potter, like all kinds of things. We just like hung out. Those are the roommates I was closest with. Cause then when I got other roommates, I was, yeah, I was never close with any of my other roommates. And I've had like around 15 different roommates. <laughs> so yeah. And so, so nice seeing her. And then I went to shoppers and I checked the mail. Oh my God, you guys, I'm gonna read off names. There was so much, cause there was a few like, four or five things packed in the P.O. box, and then three things to pick up. So this is gonna be intense. And I think I've decided that I'm gonna start opening my mail as soon as I get it. And then maybe you'll see a few things in the vlogs, but then for my actual bail mail videos, I'll kind of have stuff laid out and I'll be like, this package is from this person. And then I'll be like, give my thank yous, show off the stuff they gave me and like the pictures and stuff. And maybe say a few words regarding the letter just because that'd be a lot faster than me sitting there trying to open the mail. It'd just be quicker and the video will be shorter because I'm getting a lot more mail than I ever anticipated. And so the bail mail videos can't all be an hour long. So anyways, okay, this one doesn't have a name on it so I can just show it. You'll know who you are. It's a little brown envelope. Thank you. Then I have this big yellow one from Julian from California. This one is another big yellow one from Ji Woo Kim from Illinois. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like saying thank you before I even open this. This one is from, no name, but it's from Florida. You kind of know who you are. It's the one with do not bend stamps on it. They actually didn't bend it. Usually if you say do not bend, they bend it, but it's probably because the nice cardboard inside. 
so that's good. And then this one's from, let me just check the back. This one's from Evelyn. You'll see your little heart so you'll know. From Texas. Next one is from Alicia from Colorado Springs. What the heck? It's making noise! Next is a letter from Olivia from Simpsonville. <laughs> Let's double check the backs. Whoa, this one also rattles. This one is from Haley from Illinois. Or it kind of made a noise. Maybe like a chain or something. Ooh, so many things. So how many things was that one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in one trip. That is insane. So since I decided I'm gonna open these as soon as I get them, I'm actually not gonna do it today. <laughs> I'll probably wait till I get back from Seattle because I've got a decent stack. I had to hesitate there because I was like, wait, there. I don't want to show anyone's address, but that's just my address. So get in a good stack here. So I should start opening. Oh no, they're falling. There we go. Okay, so the stuff I bought at Shoppers, I got that Sensodyne toothpaste, which helped me out. Ugh. I mean, my teeth aren't hurting that bad anymore, but it still helped because it's an annoying sensation. So what I got was that toothpaste. I got some flosser sticks. I just, I floss more often if I use these and I keep normal floss in my purse, but it's nice to have these. And then I got some new contact solution. So when I saw the eye doctor about a month and a half ago or whatever it was, um, he was talking about why my eyes might be red and he said, that contact solution is usually the culprit. It's not the contact lenses themselves, but the solution because there's preservatives in them and they can irritate people who have sensitive eyes. So he suggested like just switching up solutions and he said I could try a hydrogen peroxide solution, but he made it sound like that wasn't necessarily the best solution. He's like, you could try it, but it might not necessarily work. So I didn't go with that at first, but I picked some up today. So what's different about this hydrogen peroxide solution is there's no preservatives in it, but how it works is it's hydrogen peroxide. And so you don't want to put that directly in your eye, but you let it sit for six hours, it says. And pretty much by then all the hydrogen peroxide will have turned into water and oxygen. So um, you can then put it in your eye. So it starts off as something that'll hurt your eye and then turns into something good. And then you put it in your eye. So yeah no preservatives in there and it's supposed to be good for people's sensitive eyes so I will try that out and see how that goes so it's like one of these little cases so interesting so we still we still have two bottles of the bio true but maybe I'll just get Christian to use that up and I will use this hydrogen peroxide stuff and see how it works and I'm also using my new contacts AccuView Oasis so a lot of changes <laughs> so far these are good I mean I don't really notice that much of a difference except maybe my eyes didn't dry out as much as they normally do I don't know I just wore them one day today's the second day so I don't know oh, this is a big bottle I think I'm gonna bring this to Seattle too so it's gonna be like not travel size at all do not put directly in eye Oh, what was annoying was because I was, I was like, should I try a new solution or should I go back to Solo Care Aqua, which is what I used to use? And I see the sign for Solo Care Aqua. It says buy one, get one free. And I was like, ah! I was like freak out. And I go to grab them and there was only one left. So I was like, well, I guess I'm not doing that promo because there's no second one. So then I, and then I saw the hydrogen peroxide ones and I was like, oh, the doctor said I could try it. So. That is what I will do. Hopefully my eyes like it. You know what I just realized is kind of funny? The active ingredient in my white strips is hydrogen peroxide and the active ingredient in this is hydrogen peroxide. So it's whitening my teeth and hopefully whitening my eyes. Yay! <laughs> oh, and regarding my interpretive dance in yesterday's vlog, <laughs> I knew everyone was gonna be like, do something for my birthday, do a dance on my birthday. But like, that was just a really, um, special case so I'm not gonna be able to do dances for everyone's birthdays that was a special situation not going into details but that was kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime thing maybe a few times in a lifetime thing but yeah that was specially for Shannon
So since this weekend I'm going to be in Seattle, I might not be uploading vlogs. I'll still be vlogging and I will still upload vlogs eventually, but maybe not on the weekend. It depends on the internet situation and how busy I am because we want to do some sightseeing when we're not at the convention and so we might just get back to the hotel late and I might not have time to edit or we might not have access to free internet. Like, I don't know, it depends because if we have to pay for internet at the hotel, sometimes you get charged for the amount of time you use or the amount of data you use. I don't know if they do it that way or not. I'm not sure how it works or there could be just free internet in the lobby. I don't know. So we'll have to wait and see what the situation is and yeah, I'm not going to have my cell phone. Well, my phone will be on, but it's going to be in airplane mode and I'm not even going to use data on my phone unless it's connected to Wi-Fi because there'd be nasty roaming charges and stuff. So I'm not really sure what the situation will be. There may or may not be vlogs this weekend. And if not, they'll be up. I'll probably at least get one up Sunday night when we get back. And then the rest will probably be like Monday, Tuesday. But I'm so excited for Vlogger Fair. We're leaving tomorrow. It's finally here. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just wish I had was like friends with some of the other vloggers because a lot of them are like all buddies now and they're meeting for the first time and they're like, yeah, we're going to hang out together. And I'm just like, I want to be part of the group and I want to hang out with everybody too, but I'm not going to, obviously. <laughs> I'm a loner. But I'll have Christian and Jacob, so that's good. <laughs> oh, and I checked my mail here at my apartment and my shirt didn't come. I, as I was opening the mailbox, I looked away and just stuck my arm in and it wasn't in there. <laughs> it's just empty. So I won't have my goofy Bailey shirt for vlogger fair. That's so sad because the phone case made it. Of all the things, why the phone case? Like I ordered the shirt first and the phone case arrived first. <laughs> it's not fair. And I mean, there's a slight, 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 slight chance it could come tomorrow morning, but I don't think the mail people come till around noon, like around 11 or noon. So we're leaving at 10.30. I'll check it right before we go, but I don't think they're going to be here that early because they never are, so. Wee! <laughs> sad Bailey is sad. <laughs> well, i got to put my pants back on because I'm going to go to Superstore and pick up some stuff to eat for our ride down to Seattle because I think, I think it's supposed to take around four hours, but you never know how long you're going to wait at the border because... Yeah, I'm pretty sure four hours is what they estimated on the website for the shuttle. And the shuttle makes several stops. That's why it takes that long, because usually it doesn't take quite that long to get to Seattle if you were driving yourself. But I don't know, it's weekend, so border wait could be an hour potentially. You never know. Could even be longer. So I'm going to get some snacks to eat on the way. I just kind of want to get some fruit I can cut up and maybe like some wasabi peas, just stuff like that. So I'm going to run to Superstore. I mean, I'm wearing pants, but these are pajama pants. When I say putting pants on, I mean like outdoor pants. Freaking love this Ergotron arm. I didn't feel like sitting down because I'm just going to quickly get the video uploading before I leave. And it's like, oh my God, I can just stand. I can just stand here and use my tablet. <laughs> YouTube vlogs, BB vlogs, August 13. Select the thumbnail. BB 315 yeah all right so I went to Superstore and came back it was a super super quick trip I was gone for maybe half an hour and I just I didn't vlog I was just like there get my stuff go so I got some goodies in here for the ride so there's yogurt parfait I've never had the Superstore parfait before so hopefully it's good uh, it's me thank y'all <laughs> Uh, we have wasabi peas, so good, chocolate covered raisins, and these corn chips. I've only had these, I think, one time before, and it was on an airplane. It was actually, I think, the last time we flew home. I'm not sure, but they had these as the little snack. Oh, these are so good. So those are the snacks, and then we'll probably bring some water bottles as well. I feel kind of bad now. 
I feel like I should have gotten three parfaits, one for Jacob, but I mean, he's more than welcome to eat this stuff, but I feel bad because I was like, oh, I should have got Jacob a parfait. So I got my nails all painted as well as my toes. It's really messy, but whatever. <laughs> and I'm just going to clean up the kitchen now. I'm going to empty the dishwasher, put some dishes while I watch Avatar The Last Airbender. So I'm pretty much all packed for vlogger fair. I just have to kind of get together the last minute toiletries in the morning and also anything that I need to edit the vlogs with. So yeah, it's come along good, but I'm gonna be editing this vlog tonight so that I can have it scheduled to go up tomorrow just in case I don't have internet there. I just wanna have at least one more video up. So I'm gonna put a hold on what I'm doing currently, which is putting together a few business cards because you never know if there's gonna be a little social networking session going on there so I figured I'd have some cards made up so I'm just gluing the new info onto my old cards and yeah but I'm going to take a break from this to edit this vlog so that's it for tonight thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow so I was trying to take off these white strips and I thought I'd grab the camera because it's like cemented to my teeth Usually like the normal ones are so flimsy and they come off so easily but these ones like really stay on well.